Alright, today we're going to install Windows Server Update Services, otherwise known as WSUS, in Windows Server 2012. So first we're going to go add roles and features. Just next through this, uh, defaults mainly wanted on this server. And then when we get to roles, we're going to select Windows Server Update Services, and then it's also going to select IIS. No features we need to install. Web server role, defaults work for here. WSUS database, this is if you want to use SQL. Alright, so what we can do here is indicate where we are going to store the WSUS updates. So I got a folder already created, rest of the users, and a WSUS. So let's go ahead and next. No restarts needed for this sort of a uh, feature. So then we're going to go ahead and install. And I will see you when it's done. Alright, so now it's installed. And you'll notice here it says additional configuration must be performed before we continue. It, you can't hit this. I have not had very good luck with it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And we're going to basically do it manually. So let's go ahead and hit start. Windows Server Update Services. So this is what kept on what we're what basically the automated system is going to do, be doing. We put this in earlier. So let's go ahead and hit users. And then there it is, my folder, WSUS. Go ahead and hit OK. And then run. And it's basically going to make a couple folders, put a couple files in there that it needs, and then once it's done, we will continue. Alright, so now that it's done, we're going to go ahead and hit close, and it's going to open up basically the first time starting console. Once it's done with doing that, it'll open up this the, for the first time. Windows Server Update Services Configuration Wizard. This is pretty much just a quick step through to get it up and running as a WSU server. All right, so go ahead and defaults. Yes, I want to join them. And for this one, we're just going to synchronize for Microsoft Update. You can basically ch JZ chain these servers together so that they just grab from one to the other basically to, to again save network load we're not going to use this proxy server and let's go ahead and connect to Windows uh, Microsoft updates alright once it's done doing that we're going to go ahead and hit next and we don't want to download all updates in all languages because that's going to take a lot of space we're just going to go ahead and use English then hit next. Again, we don't want all products because that will use up a lot of space. So we're just going to go down. I believe it's on the bottom. Uncheck this. And then we're just going to use Windows 8.1. Alright, and let's just make sure there's not any other ones hidden away there. Haha, see, that would use up, eat up, eat up, eat up a bit more. Alright, and let's go ahead and hit next. Here you can choose what kind of updates you want. So let's go with service packs and now the default should be good. And next, synchronize manually. So you have to go into the management console and manually sync it whenever you want to. All the, all the syncing does is just actually look up to see if there's a new update. So let's go ahead and do Day. Next, then let's do it. Going to go ahead and do begin initial synchronization and finish. So what it's doing now is actually checking for all those updates, and then it's going to download them to that folder. And as you can see here. It is showing synchronizing. All that's going. Let's go ahead. All computers. These are just groups. 
what you can do, you don't really have to make groups, you can just put it all into one, but you can have like marketing, sales, testing, different groups so that they can, you can choose to get different updates. Alright, so I've successfully installed and started downloading the updates for Windows Server Update Services. And I also configured my Windows 8.1 machine to look for the server. Basically all it is is under group policy, you add in specify internet location for updates, and you just put in HTTP, IP, or an and or name of the server. I use IP address because it, it tends to find that a little better, and if you set, set it static, it, it works a little better. So and then once you do that, you go ahead go in the Windows updates, and then try to search it again, and it will pop up in here. And that is how you install and configure Windows Server update services.